this network. You've heard about cast iron, let's be honest, it's not your grandma's cast iron anymore. We love the idea of cast iron. We love how super hot it gets. We love how it sears meat. We love how it caramelizes. We love how it conducts heat evenly. Whether it's cornbread or chilies or just the best steak and fajitas or blackened shrimp, blackened fish and all of the above, from baking to even a cobbler in this, we love cast iron, but then you have to baby it. You have to season it. You have to worry about rusting or oxidizing. This dishwasher safe, you don't have to worry about any special care requirements. It's exclusive to HSN. To me, this is what I call the Goldilocks size uh, in that 10 inch with the double sided pour spouts. This pat, and I, I keep wanting to call it blush, but it's, it's is it taupe? No. It is, it is taupe in the system, but I swear to you, it, it just, it, it looks like blush. Then of course we've got the gray and then the black. And then as if that weren't enough, where do you set your hot cast iron? How about on your trivet? I think it's genius. I think he's a genius in the kitchen. We should be selling this for more money, Mark Gill. You know, I always love to see what's going on in, in your backyard. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Thank you for doing you? this. I'm great. Mark. Oh, you, good to see you. It's always good to see you. I'm going to turn you loose because you, you do such an yeah, amazing let's have job. Some fun. But let's talk about the features and the benefits of this. I mean, we love. Sure. We love cast iron, but this is not like how people are used to seeing cast iron, correct? Oh, absolutely not. So listen, I mean, let me show you what all the fuss is about. And Shannon, let me tell you, uh, first of all, welcome back out back. And for everybody else, it is so good to see you. Let me go ahead and take our eggs off there. And by the way, in your life, did you ever think that you would ever see eggs skating around on a cast iron pan with no butter, no fat, and no oil. And that's exactly what's happening here. So when I say, let's see what all the fuss is about, that's it. Now, I would love to do a cleaning demonstration for you, but I can't because nothing sticks to these pans. So <laughs> on my induction burner here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put this up for our next dish here and get that ready. And I want you to see something, okay? Back in the early 80s, when we all went from that nonstick to our traditional cast iron, but then we switched to that flat bottom, like either a uh, uh, PTFOA or PTFE or the, the ceramic or whatever that flat stuff is, we lost something. Grandma knows what we lost. Everybody who's ever been to a steakhouse knows what we lost. Come here. This is what we lost when we switched to traditional nonstick cooking as we know it. We lost that incredible bark, that incredible sear, that unbelievable 16th of an inch crust that we dropped 50 bucks for at a steakhouse. That's what cast iron gives you. Now, like I said, you don't have to cook with butters, fats, or oils. But I ain't going to stop you. <laughs> when they tell you how to make the best steak in the world, they're going to say, start with a heavy pan. That's what we've done. Then they're going to say, add some butter. So whoever they are, are our group that I already like. So we're going to go ahead and add some butter. And for me, it's all about the garlic. If you don't like onions, you don't like garlic, we can't be friends. It really is that simple. And now what I like to do with my steaks is take a little onion. Sometimes we use yellow. This time we're going to use red for a little extra flavor. And we just go ahead and put it around there. So what that's going to do is that's going to give that steak a really nice steam in those onions. The garlic butter is going to come together and the crust is going to form on the other side. And the bottom line is, guys, what's great about these pans is when they make cast iron, you got to see this. This is what it's all about. When they make cast iron, it's one at a time, man. It's one mold, they smash it, and that pan is uniquely yours. That bottom is like a fingerprint. And what does well, what this does for you is as the natural fats and sugars and the meats and the proteins cook, it kind of falls down into that little valley and flashes. And that's where you get that incredible sear, that incredible crust. That's why you can't do it on flat bottom nonstick cookware. And look what we've done for you. One piece, nothing to break, helper handle. We've got the pour spouts on each side. This is uniquely Kitchen HQ. Guys, this is what it's all about. And you know what? You pointed this out, Shannon. I love this. This is so cool. You know how much trouble I've gotten putting these things down where I'm not supposed to? Not anymore. Huh? I love it. <laughs> so that's hey, what I'm going to do here. Uh, Mark, I'm just going to... We're going to go ahead and start the next dish. Uh-huh. Perfect. I'm just... I'm so sorry, my friend. I just wanted to give a quick quantity update because this was, sure. as we said, a very late-breaking programming adjustment. If you want the classic black, 250 only. If you want... I know I keep repeatedly wanting to call it blush. It is taupe, but it is like a nice blush color. But we call it taupe. 300 only, so 250 only on the black, 330 only on the taupe, silver, again, you can't make a bad decision here, but if, if color is um, king, then do it. 
It's a half off sale for heaven's sake. It's a half off sale. And we sold thousands upon thousands of these at $60. So to me, I call this the Goldilocks size. It, you're getting basically that trivet as a, as a bonus, if you will, at the half off sale, 675881. If you're gonna do it, I'm gonna recommend you do it now. All right, Mark, what do you got going on over there, my friend? <laughs> well, let's go ahead and give our uh, chicken a little toss here, and then let's talk baking. Now remember, no butter, no fat, no oil, nobody cares. Look at that. That's fantastic. It doesn't stick, it doesn't grab, it's absolutely beautiful. So here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna add my garlic flavor, and I'm gonna do that with a little bit of garlic infused oil. We're gonna let that kind of get into the chicken and we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of garlic to that as well. So let's let that hang out for a second and let's talk about baking because honest to goodness, one of the original uses of cast iron was of course, you know, to sit beside a big fire and bake things and boil things. So let's have a peek here. And I love this because when you love your baked goods, when you wanna have a good time in the oven with friends, family, this is one of the best dishes you're gonna serve up. And instead of me setting this down, on a piece of equipment that I don't want to wreck, I'm going to take that trivet and I'm going to set it right there. And I want you to see this. This is comfort food and it's finest. And do you see how that's separating from the edges? Guys, this is non-stick cast iron cookware. I know you haven't heard of that before. And that's because until last year when we launched this, it never existed. <laughs> we introduced this to you. We made, oh, there we go. Look at this. Even if you get a little bit on the bottom, Look at that, it pops right off. So like I said before, I'd love to do a cleaning demonstration, but I can't <laughs> because there's nothing to clean. And I gotta tell you, try serving your macaroni and cheese upside down next time. Don't try it in a pan that's gonna stick on you. Add a little bit of bacon. And I gotta tell you, that is a big time treat. And when it comes time to clean up, you gotta see this. This is cast iron. How many times have you rubbed, scrubbed, soaked, sworn, done the whole nine yards because you have to reseason? Guys, that's it. And if that's too much work for you, Put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> hey, by the way, you see Mark wrapping a towel around the handle, and it's just a good time for me to mention, baby, it's hot outside. These get hot, right? Which, by the exactly. way, Mark's taking one for the team in the backyard. Uh, I'm impressed by you in every way. Uh, I was schwitzing just unloading my car uh, in the HSN parking lot. But if you want heat conductivity, there is nothing better than cast iron. Wouldn't you agree, Mark? Exactly. I absolutely agree. So watch what I'm gonna do here. We keep talking about uh, no seasoning. You don't have to re-season it. You don't have to treat it. So I'm gonna do something kind of cool here. This is where every grandma in the country goes <laughs> because watch what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take red wine. I'm gonna pour it into a cast iron pan. Now, typically that's when uh, whoever's in charge of seasoning and re-seasoning flips out because that literally strips all of the uh, seasoning off the bottom of the pan. We're gonna make a simple steak sauce here. We're gonna add a little bit of half and half, just like that. This is a pepper sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and add a nice liberal amount of pepper. And guys, it really is that easy to make a beautiful steak sauce. We're gonna stir in one pat of butter to give it a little bit of a sheen when it mixes up. And this is that extra little step that only takes a second that takes that kind of uh, regular, you know, regular, throw it on the grill, throw it on the, uh, throw it in the pan. And it just kind of bumps it up to the level of maybe one of those things that we're all missing every now and then. And that's that uh, experience of going out and getting these incredible dishes made for us. Now watch what happens when I pour this out. This is a, I'm gonna turn the fire off because I'm not crazy. There we go, watch this. It literally rips off the back of the pan. Can you see that? Guys, the cleanup on this is so fantastic. Let me set that there for just a second and grab another cloth. And this is what it's all about. I mean, the cleanup is out of this world. And when you wanna talk results, Shannon, have a look at this. And this is, you know, the proof's in the pudding. It's all about the results. It's all about that finished product. And I gotta say, when they say the best steaks in the world start with a cast iron pan, they are not kidding. So go ahead, give that a little bit of your porous steak sauce. And in a matter of minutes, you have one of those dishes that again, they're gonna start on the marquee with, we use heavy cast iron pan for our steak. And that's what they're gonna do with yours. So while we're standing here, we got two seconds for it burns. I gotta grab this out of the oven because I saw it last time. And this is just a really neat treat. We talked about baking before. This is perfect. All the edges are fantastic. Nothing conducts heat as well as cast iron. This is called a Dutch baby. It's a very cool pancake. And then what you do with this, this is great for Sunday brunch. Add a little bit of fruit, just like that. And then some syrup. 
And then to top it off, and again, these are just dishes that are really quick, really simple. I think there's three ingredients in this. And when you've got the right cookware, when you've got the right tools, when you've got the right heat conductivity, everything is simple, fast, easy, tasty, yummy, perfect. Okay, Everybody is that your iron. lovely wife doing that camera, <laughs> camera work? Is she not the best ever? Uh, Can I tell you something? <laughs> I'm telling you, she's hired. She, the close-ups, the she meat. Is, it's just she's like, good, man. Yeah, she's, she's good. good. And, Oh, yeah, she's, she's good. She's styling all the food. She's exactly. Good. Hey, you know, I will work for food. So, ne you know, next pandemic, you know, I'm, I might not be able to give camera shots, but I, I'm, I'm good for, you know, you'll never have leftovers ever again. So here's what they are telling me, Mark. In the final two minutes remaining, the black out of here. If you want the taupe, now the taupe is the one that I'm kind of subtitling blush, uh, but we're calling it taupe when you order final 200. Black is gone. Uh, taupe, final 220. Uh, silver, there are only 1,500. And remember again, dishwasher safe. You don't, life, it's, it's a lifetime pan. It's the Goldilocks pan. It's a half off sale. You're getting that trivet. And the trivet's pretty whether you put something on it or not, but bada bing, Bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. This became a customer pick at the regular $60 price, at the regular $60 price. And when we say it is done at this value, it is done at this value. 90 seconds or sell out on that taupe. Uh, Mark, I know we've got limited time remaining. What would you like to show us in, in the limited time that we have left? So many different surfaces here. We've got induction, we've got gas, we got good old pan over the fire. We're working out of an oven. The bottom line with this cookware is no matter what you cook, where you cook, how you like to cook, what you like to cook in, this cookware is absolutely going to work with you. That's what it does. So if you're doing a beautiful fish dinner for two, soaking in a little bit of white wine over the grill, or come on over here, you want to have a lot of fun with, uh, you know, some more inexpensive dishes. How about you take a 79 cent burrito, pop that on there, and then when the cheese is all crispy, you actually wrap it around the burrito. So I'm not sure if we'll get back to that in time. Let's leave that for a second. And let's go back where we started as we passed the baked mac and cheese, the Dutch baby. And that is just the fact that you're gonna be able to get these incredible crusts. That's what we're looking at, is those sears. That's what brings out the flavor of your chicken, your pork, your steak. That's what really makes it happen. So when it comes time, like I said, to maybe recreate some of those diner experiences that we've missed out on, like what we're doing here. If you know that, uh, place that serves uh, cheesecake. They have some, uh, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a neat looking cafe. This is one of these dishes that they charge. I think it's $14.95 for garlic chicken on the bottom, some green veggies, a rosé or a white sauce. We get some cooked pasta in there. And then all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take it and give it a little bit of a shake shake because guys, the 10 inch size is absolutely perfect. We're going to let that work in a little bit. Now watch this. This is so fun. Just like that, you've got a perfect steamy, hot, yummy, family-sized meal out of a pan that is going to be ones that you hand down to the people you're cooking for if it's Sunday dinner, because that's the beauty of cast iron. So let me set that right here and give you one final little cleanup, because if I can say anything about anything that you use in the kitchen, no matter how good it is, if it's hard to clean, you will never touch it again. So when it comes to cookware, you can get that flat bottom stuff that has no life to your food or add that dimension of cooking back to it and not lose the ease and convenience of non-stick cookware. And the fact that you're also getting that trivet, I love it. You're getting both pieces, Shannon. Everybody loves our cast iron cookware. Just the best stuff. They do indeed. By the way, just case in point, um, that blue that Mark is demonstrating, that's gone. The red is gone. The black is gone. The taupe will be gone. I'm calling that blush, but it is taupe in the system. Final couple dozen. The silver, just a little over a thousand. And this is it. No back order, no wait list. It's half off. You get the magnetic trivet. Mark, always good to see you. Uh, again, you awesome, much. awesome job. I, I just wish I could come over for dinner. Off. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's here's what we're having in about three minutes. A, a cheese wrap burrito with a little bit of sour cream. We're going to love it. Thanks so much for joining us, Shannon. We love having you guys here. Well, we love you too. Thank you, Mark. Take good care. Hey, uh, by the way, Victoria, would you say that's...